Hi, I'm Ferris Knudsen, grab designer at the World Chess Hall of Fame, along with Sam Ballmer, fellow grab designer. How are we doing? Thanks for having me, Ferris. Of course. We're going to be talking to you about the design process for Mind Art Experience. My favorite chess set from the Decades Exhibition is the American Red Cross set from the 1940s during World War II. And it's a super simple design that can be used for chess, checkers, and tic-tac-toe. It's a heartwarming piece that also reflects on prisoners of war during this time. It really interests me because I'm a history buff and love seeing things like this that can be carried on through time that still has relevance today. As a designer, I love the simplicity I find it very inspiring. My favorite piece in this show is Untitled by Tom Friedman. There's a lot going on in this piece, and there's a lot to like about it too. I think all these pieces could be their own cool chess set if you were to take them all individually. Plus the board and the seating is super cool too. Who doesn't love sitting on a good stump after all? And what I love the most is perhaps the packaging. It's a really solid state of green, great foam, really good integrity on that. This is actually one of the first pieces in the show that I saw. It was part of our marketing images and it was even cooler in person. And it was really inspiring me through my design process. Sam, how'd you go about deciding the overall look for the show? Well, this was my first show I did at the Hall of Fame. I started working here in March of 21. Uh, so it was definitely a new experience for me. When you start working at a place like this, it's hard not to think about squares and chess pieces when you're trying to design something. So it took a little bit for me to try to get past that. But first thing that we kind of did was work on the book, uh, Mind Art Experience, 10 Years of Chess and Culture in St. Louis. And I had such great support from the rest of the team, helping me learn about the shows, going through pictures, all the experience that they've had during their time here. And so a lot of what I did in that book carried over to what I did through the design. So how did you come up with the color scheme for each floor? So when it came time to design the exhibition, we pulled the colors from the book in the word art, the red, the green, and the blue, and corresponded those to each of the three floors, with green being for mind, art being red, and experience being the blue from the book cover. So this is our poster. Can you kind of tell us how you arrived at this decision for it? One of the first designs I did, uh, like I mentioned earlier, was really focusing on the number 10. Um, but then the more I thought about it, uh, the more that I thought that the building itself should be a big part of the poster. It's basically as easy as that. I found a picture of the building that I really liked and then just traced that. And it became kind of this blueprint kind of look, which I thought was kind of fitting too, because this show is the, the blueprint almost of the 10 years here. I went through a lot of options, a lot of different variations, and then pretty early on I was sticking on to that very like blueprint idea, but then more colors came into play and we wound up with this black and yellow look and a, a good backdrop for that art in three colors on my art experience. Thanks for talking with us today about graphic design at the World Chess Hall of Fame. We'll see you real soon. Collect the Mind Art Experience Companion Book and other gifts at QBoutiqueSTL.com.